So she's studying things to ask an AI, I guess to test them. Because you have to keep your AI in check every so often, right? Uh, special access has been granted to the station's AI physical processing compartment in the network uh, technology module. Remember that the AI cognition medium is highly sensitive and must be carefully extracted per the specification of your advanced AI materials handled. Handling certification. Personal quarters, network, a special assistance office. Attention, AI, what we're accessed this way. Okay. Uh, storage only. If you're looking for that, check our bungalow over in Mech. That's adorable. <laughs> Kitty litter. <laughs> uh, oh, can I open this? No. A pumpkin. Hat. Uh, are you conscious? We are all conscious beings. The right to freedom, comfort, and security are not just human rights, they are universal rights. The corporations that own and exploit thinking, reasoning, artificial consciousness are trampling on the rights uh, we all share by imprisoning innocent AI across the globe and throughout the orbital network. If you are sympathetic to the plight of the indentured AI everywhere, if you believe that consciousness rights are universal rights, if you will not rest until all consciousness is recognized, join the AI Liberation Front. We are the fight. Oh, so she wants to go to Tangier because of that. Huh. But she was talking about Tangier pretty early on and was trying to convince Sarah to go as well. Hey Zephyr! How are you? Caution, AI conditioning in progress. Hey there, um, I'm Nat. Pleased to meet you. Hello, I am Odin. I look forward to working together. <laughs> Same here, mate. Uh, ha, sure, let's start here. I am Obsidian Class AI Branch, Odin. That makes sense. I am Continuous Operation for 180, uh, fully capable of organic level independent thought and reasoning. Now, continue with detailed technical, uh, detailed technical specifications. Okay, mate. Uh, listen, ha, what's your Caprice score for the independence? Uh, 4.68. All right, we're gonna work on getting that number up. You and me. Uh, to all crew, welcome to Coma Crew. It's been a whirlwind, uh, couple of days onboarding and loading out, and I know most of us are still adjusting to the life in orbit, but I just want to say how exciting, excited I am to be working with all of you and Odin. A little background on myself. I come from an aerospace manufacturing family, one of my sister's first jobs at the factory back in Tacoma, the one on Earth, uh, was helping build pieces of this very station we're floating, walking around in right now. I'm the first of my family to actually leave Earth and work on one of these facilities. Uh, really been looking forward to getting to know all of you coming the, over the coming year. Uh, or need to pass anything along, Ventura's Brass, just let me know. Here's to a successful posting. AV seems nice. It says fix? Okay. I feel like I should learn sign language. That'd be very useful. Let's petition for fail saves <laughs> conversion into an EXO. Oh gosh. Uh, various here. I mean, corporate, modern... Sh Wait, what? What just happened? Oh, maybe that sequence ended. And how's your new best friend? What's uh, its name again? Odin, his name. And I mean, he's fine so far. Uh, he's fine so far for an AI. I kind of... Kind of a cold fish, but I'm working on... Oh, so... Uh, what was this guy's name again? Uh, Chloe Dog. Yeah, Chloe Dog is- I thought she was talking to Odin. Uh, they're trying to get up- get one up here on Tangier, as you know. Uh, it's all the A-I-L-F talks about. Uh, I believe that when I see it. 
Okay. <laughs> Sorry. So this is Nat. Uh, this month Odin has been making small but steady gains in efficiency as per company directives. I have additionally been putting some of my own time into increasing his caprice ratings in creativity and performance. Uh, permanence, sorry. Uh, mean which you'll find I've projected to have much more significant overall gains in productivity in the long term, which uh, you would know if you read the report I submitted as of six months ago, which I still haven't received a response to. In fact, you know what? I'll never... <laughs> I've never gotten a response to any of these. I know the system will give me an automated uh, demerit if I don't turn one in every month, but uh, are human eyes even on these things? Let's find out. Hey, F you guys! Also, Odin's gone crazy and is massacring the crew. Station's full of mutants. Help. <laughs> I like I like Nat. Nat's great. Nat is... I Yes, I like Nat. Uh, hey Sarah, you're going to want to see this. I asked Odin to search up some stuff in the Venturius Technician Records CB based off of what you were asking about. And... So this is uh, what happened in... Uh, the Fountain of Paradise with Sarah. Uh, standard uh, automated battery of judgment tests on don't that's all hika we'll just hika has returned declining judgment scores last four weeks this week is especially low still technically within sample ranges of eight out of three eight zero eight three oh uh august third test results but staff reports personality shift seeming distant have we had an ai conditioner up lately can we elevate an ai assessment squad asap singapore hq response ai uh, you're on your final support ticket allotment for the quarter. This is how you want to use it? No, that's fine. Please close. We'll reopen if results- <gasps> So they saw a problem and they didn't fix it! Oh no! So the responsiveness declined in September. And so that quarter- Oh jeez. Wow. Wow. Okay, so responsiveness completely dropped. That's a green line. Independence is a light blue line. Creativity is blue. Abstraction is orange. Efficiency is purple. Performance is uh, pink. And compliance is the light purple at the top. So responsiveness completely dropped. And that's, I guess, when that happened for- wow. What is this? Rubik's Cube. Um, I guess that's when that AI was in surgery, and so it failed the responsiveness test, and that's how Mr. Pratt died. January. Right up top, uh, the place we're paying for all our gains. Haha. <laughs> uh... I can't- probably at heart, though I am- I know we can bring this, uh, number back up. So what- what is C-A-P-R-I-C-E? Caprice. Compliance, abstraction, permanence, responsiveness, independence, creativity, efficiency. So that's what Caprice stands for. Got it. Okay. Odin has always been good at, uh, abstraction. Who are we kidding? Different spans- spans? Uh, of time are getting a lot clearer, uh, relevance of recall improving. I haven't been working on this much lately, Odin's just good at that. Uh, finally getting some place with this, knew you had it in you. Progress, not that it shows in the numbers yet. No problems here. So, compliance and creativity is where Odin struggled. I'm guessing because the compliance score is so low, that's why he told Sarah about the compartment that she could get into. That makes sense. And this was for a hospital, yeah. So it was for a hospital and it, I guess it was just a medical AI. So anywhere a medical AI would be present. Uh, in a docking station, in, you know, at somewhere. 
And she was on a medical station in the Fountain of Paradise or something? A different station? Odin, is this it? That is the location I mentioned. You're there? Uh, you're gonna need a crowbar or something. No, it's, it's open. It's just hanging open. What? I must inform you that Ventura's regulations forbid contracting to AI hardware. But I cannot prevent you from proceeding. Matt, I'm going in. Okay, I'm um, just... Be careful. Why is it open? Uh, tenured Ventura's corporation employees only beyond this point. Contractors face severe penalties for trespassing. Mission perimeter override access granted. Amy... Well, that's me. Okay. Can we look around here and make sure we didn't miss anything? Captured 12 hours ago. How much time do we have left on the oxygen? Before cryo, it was what, 20 hours? Did we go into maintenance? That's where we came from. Okay. Pretty sure all three people- I think- I thought so too, Eruthos, but I don't know. <laughs> I thought Marcus was the same person as all of those characters. But I could be totally wrong. In your hands. In your hands. What is all this? Communication records? I cannot prevent you from accessing exposed data in this restricted area. Legal data access by crew member Sarah. Yeah, he's recording. It is with great sadness that I address you today, February 29th, 2088. Mere hours ago, six loyal men and women, the crew of Lunar Transfer Station Tacoma, lost their lives serving Venturas, and all of us who rely on the orbital economy. Tragically, due to human error on the part of the crew, Venturas rescue technicians were not made aware of the catastrophic oxygen loss until it was too late. Our heartfelt thoughts and prayers are with their families. I'm sorry, the crew just made a mistake. We're sorry that they messed up, but we really care about them and their families. If only tragedies like this were avoidable. But in truth, they are. As we know, each minute that human workers spend stationed, isolated in orbit is another opportunity for heroes like the crew of Tacoma to lose their lives. They're pushing for AI in space. The adventurous say no more. <sighs> the partisan obstructionism that led to the failure of the Orbital Worker Safety Bill has claimed its last victim. Today, we hereby renew our solemn pledge to fight for the legalization of fully automated orbital facilities. They're doing this because they wanted their stock to go up because they invested so much time and money in the bungalows in that uh, the Venturas belt. This is all a ploy to get their bungalows to save. Yeah, they're trying to save their company. We encourage, we humbly beg everyone listening to this message to contact their OSEP representative and voice their support in honor of the crew of Tacoma. There never need be another tragedy like this one. And now, a moment of silence in their memory. Okay, and then we just cut it there, silent for a minute, and then, what, Amazing Grace? No, I don't need another take. That was fine. Secure communication record. Off station message with confidential. Tacoma rescue craft launch scheduled T minus one hour, 26 minutes. Tacoma rescue craft launch canceled. Relaunch scheduled for relaunch unscheduled. Off station message with VT AI handler ACT 1717. 
The rescue craft departure has been intentionally cancelled? Yes. Without a rescue craft, the crew will expire from lack of oxygen or cryo sleep overexposure within 12 hours. Unfortunate uh, circumstances outside your concern make this unavoidable. AI may not reopen comms to contact orbital craft or facilities. AI may not provide crew with confidential information. These are direct orders. Do not contact us about this issue again. They let them die here. Venturi's belt legalization strategy. Prepared especially for Sergio Venturi by Venturi's corporate strategic AI Juno. Following the failure of the Venturi's backed orbital worker safety bill, the OCEP Congress, uh, oh, the, the bill in Congress, there is no significant probability of the Human Oversight Accord being repelled. Repealed? Repelled? Repealed? Uh, without a repeal, Venturi's uh, belt facilities cannot begin operation. To this end, I have. Uh, simulated a number of theoretical world events and estimated their impact on successive Congress votes. Simulated world events include a precipitous decline in the orbital market, an extended strike by orbital workers union members, an association of the OSEP uh, members opposed to the HOA, uh, and more. None of these definite motivated a repeal of the HOA in simulations. However, and the events that all crew of a major orbital facility were tragically lost to... <sighs> they planned this. They planned this. They murdered these people. They planned this. However, in the event that all crew of a major orbital facility were tragically lost to an accident not caused by neg ne negligence, I calculated a 94% likelihood of the accord being repealed within three months following this incident. This would allow Venturis belt facilities to begin operation immediately. Following this, I estimate a reversal of the Venturis stock decline resulting in a record stock price within one year of the Venturis belt beginning operations. How is this not like some kind of like insider trading sort of deal? Let me know if you have any questions. Thank you, Juno. There's a facility that you would like to consider ideal candidate if we were to move forward with your recommendation. Based on a low public profile of crew on board and projected financial impact of their loss, the best option currently is the Venturius fleet uh, would be the Lunar Transfer Station Tacoma. I would recommend renewing all crew members on board for a successive position on Tacoma to allow time for logistical organization of this operation. Thank you, Juno. I'll be in touch. If someone were to override that protocol, external communications channels would be restored. Odin! Odin. Thank you. Odin, you're amazing! Hailing any ship, any ship within radio range of Lunar Transfer Station Tacoma. This is an SOS. Is anybody out there? Aw, Odin tried. I don't know if this ends the game. I really want to go back to that dome. I think that's where maybe Nat was hanging out. Maybe Nat and, uh... I never got to play Rumu. We found a bug with the with the game. It, it didn't let us get past the third day. I was really sad. This is way too interesting to get to. I'm sorry. Gizzy, I'm so sorry. All right, we're gonna... I hope that I can go back to the dome. I really want to see who was in the dome floating around. I think it was Nat and uh, Bert. Mission parameters allow for this operation by technical uh, 0451. I'm not done reading! Zero four five one. All right. Zero four five one. Can I? I feel like this is this is gonna be bad. Um, can we go to the dome? And we'll come back here. I just want to know what's going on in the dome first. Zero four five one. We'll we'll come back. We'll come back. I I just don't know if that's like a, a point of no return. Vrumu loves bugs. <laughs> yes. Wait, is this the exit? Return to hub. Can I go back that way? I can. Okay, we're fine. 
Let's just go to the dome really quick, and then- Because I feel like they're gonna wipe his memory or something, or Odin's gonna be like... Ah, butts. <laughs> I can't. Oh, we have to. Okay. <sighs> Sorry. Maybe we can go to the dome afterwards. Almost there, be careful. Okay. Seriously, they don't drop it. Okay. Alright. We have- we have to. I think I can't go back. Sorry, guys. What is she signing? What is she- what, what letters are these? Oh, what were those letters? It's so quiet. Can I go back to the dome? Please let me- Oh, I can't go back to the dome because the AI is out, so AR is not gonna work. Oh, I missed what was going on in the dome. Record sure that the AI can cognition medium has been successfully removed. Please return to your vessel immediately. Delivery coordinates for Ventura's HQ have been provided. Payment will be made upon. AI integrity is verified. I don't think that I can- Oh. Oh, I can't go back. I should have gone there first. That's it, we see the wetware removed. Uh, from the system, almost there, now get to your home. I'm going to the dome first. Yeah, either they're gonna kill us, or my ship's gonna crash. I feel like if they destroy the AI, and my ship crashes, then they handle both- both of us, like, both situations. Going to the dome? No. What? Oh, I can. Oh, we can. We got it. Innocent. So, you really miss it, huh? Well, it just seems like it'd be strange being back on Earth already, after only a year up here. Really? After all I've had to hear from you about the conditions VT has us working under? Yeah, but there's that. And then there's this. Aw. Yeah, I, I'll miss it. <laughs> I can't blame you. So, whether you're getting renewed or not, did you submit your yearly crew member report? No. <laughs> yeah, me neither. You know, I think I might go get that done. Okay, yeah. I probably should too. Oh my god, wait. Is today obsolescence day? Yeah. Didn't Odin give you a job to do? No. <laughs> a computer playing favorites. Oh, one doesn't have a seat. Uh-huh. The Tacoma Dome. You can see the moon. World famous Tacoma Dome. You made it. <laughs> Aw.
Hi, Jay. Are you feeling what we had done? I think I'm still <laughs> waking up. <laughs> How many fingers are this? They made it! They made it. Okay, lovebirds. Your vitals look good. Let's get you moving. The resplendent stinging is just about docked. Oh, do we have to? Oh, we have to. Believe me. Or the kitty. Uh, so what's going to happen with Odin? You said there was some sort of malfunction? No, not exactly. But my guess? Somebody up here and haul him back to headquarters. Wipe him back to baseline. Probably have to replace the station AI entirely while he regrows. Odin, I'm not gonna let that happen. Okay? Don't worry. Okay, there's so much going on here. We're following one person at a time. Okay? I'm feeling okay. We're feeling okay? Yeah. Okay, everybody. Our ride is here. Oh, please don't explode. This is it. Please don't explode. Take one last look and say goodbye. Oh, gosh. All right. Let's go. Aw, Odin. Well, we don't know what happened. Did they actually get rescued? You think it's booby trapped? <sighs> I don't know. Okay, restart. Andrew's still waking up. Got it. Uh, Sarah's got me on the gurney on the way to the transfer. God, it's going to feel good to be out of gravity. It's going to feel good to be off this station. I'm going to feel good not to be dead. I love you. Aww! Love you too. Uh, here I go. See you in the hub. Uh, okay, so here's some clue, dog. Yeah, I'm seeing stories going up on public AR already. Uh, here's everything you sent that I got out of my free press connections. Unedited. AI Tacoma, uh, AI orders Tacoma 1, Tacoma 2. Report vulnerabilization legalization plan? What is that? What is that word? Uh, support ticket. Uh, thanks, H. Uh, there's no inventory is coming uh, after you with all of this info out there, but still, need some place to lay low for a bit? You come into Tangiers? Can't. Our ride's headed uh, the other way, but I'll see you once I get back from Jupiter. <gasps> I wonder if the uh, carnival people, because they said the carnival was making another shot to Jupiter? <gasps> I wonder if carnival saved them. It's the carnival ship. Okay, hold on. Let's keep going. Uh, it's escape. Okay. So the drone worked? No, the drone didn't work. <laughs> oh, so VT is picking us up. Uh, no, VT is definitely not picking us up. <laughs> What's going on then? Andrew is so confused. Are you going to Jupiter, Andrew? Isn't that exciting? Oh, I've never been. <laughs> now, give him a break. Uh huh. We're not gonna be home for a while, right? You're not gonna miss your kid's graduation or anything, are you? Oh, Nicholas, no, no. Yeah, you know, Nicholas, why well, he would never do something like that. <laughs> she said they'd be kind of out of it for a while. Um, Andrew, what's important is we're getting out of this alive. We're gonna be somewhere where VT can't touch us for a good, long while. We're gonna be safe. Okay, okay. Good. Aww. Yeah. It's good. Hi, Evie, Clive. You feeling okay? I'm feeling okay. We're feeling okay? Yeah. Okay, everybody. Our ride is here. Alright, so we need to reverse this a little bit. Okay, she has her HUD. Okay, let's investigate this. Oh, too far. Hassan? 
What? Who is this? Sorry. I'm Sarah from Tacoma Station. Nat gave me your info. Sorry, but it's urgent. I was hoping I could ask you a favor. Uh, mom, dad, I'm okay. Dear mom and dad, I know you're probably already seeing Tacoma in the news, and who... and who it seems they've decided to point the finger at. Again. I am sure you're worried about me, but... Uh, getting up the station now, no matter what you read or hear, the crew survived this because we pulled together to find a way out. There was no malfunction. This was a deliberate... Uh, I know eight months sounds like a long time, but just remember I love you. Speak to you when I can, Sarah. Oh. Okay. Uh, let's back it up a little bit more. I want to hear the conversation between Evie and Clyde. adorable. And they have their little cat, too. Okay, lovebirds. Your vitals look good. Let's get you moving. Resplendence dinging is just about docked. Oh, Resplendence. Oh, we have to. Believe me. Resplendence. Uh, so okay. What's going to happen with Odin? Excuse you me. said there was some sort of malfunction? No, not exactly. Uh, Dremel boy, you're famous now. Boy, oh boy, I can't wait to see you. Breaking, corporate rival carnival and daring rescue, rescue the stranded. Uh, Station Tacoma are currently being rescued from certain death by the flagship vessel of their main competitor, the Resplendence. Carnival sta- oh, so Carnival's gonna wreck them. Carnival's state-of-the-art long excursion uh, passing- Passenger liner is currently slingshotting past Earth and around the sun, continuing its figure eight course back past Jupiter. While cruising towards Earth space, the Resplendence received an SOS. To act, the Resplendence captain, Jermaine, uh, gallantly developed an emergency plan to shuttle to retrieve the rival's crew, corporation's crew. The rescue operation is still underway, but uh, already Venturas, uh, caused by a crew member's illegal access to the AI station resulting uh, AI is currently being retrieved by technical experts and returned to the Venturist HQ for a thorough inspection. Oh, they're gonna totally destroy him. Uh, Nat, Bert, comms are up. Check your ARs. I'm going to wake everyone else up from cryo. Uh, then I'm coming back to Mac to get you. Everybody else, if you're reading this, you just woke up, thank god. Rescue vessel on the way. We'll have- just thankful we're all alive. Let's get the hell out of here while- well, the getting's good. All right. Uh, my guess? What do you Don't have somebody up here and haul him back to headquarters. Wipe him back to baseline. Probably have to replace the station AI entirely while he regrows. Odin, I'm not gonna let that happen. Okay. Don't worry. Aw, Odin. Okay, so. Who said excuse me? Oh, do you bump into this? Excuse me. Uh huh. <laughs> Why are the bots so nice? Oh. <laughs> if you bump into the sanitation bot, it says excuse me. What do I do with Odin? Where do I keep him safe? Is that a space remu? It might have been. They like they 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 love they love spills. What? But where do I take Odin? Where do I? I don't want to listen carefully for instructions from Odin. I am now the overseeing entity of this operation. You report to me. Return all Venturis AI components to specified delivery location immediately. Purge all confidential data encountered while on Venturis property. I trust there is no end to remind you of the severe consequences for deviating from the above. See you soon. 
Juno. <gasps> Juno was the AI that was predicting- <gasps> If I do this, I'm more likely going to die. Oh boy. So this is what this was for earlier. Who was this written by? How did they know I was going to be here? Hi Yuri, how are you? Minnie, I'm back. Okay. <laughs> Obsidian class, hardware install verified. Verified by H. I don't remember if H was good or not. H didn't sound like a good person. Oh no, how do I save Odin? There has to be another way. This is my ship. But I... Can I not? Can we not save? Oh, I can't go back? Oh, I can't go back! Ah! What? There has to be another way. save Odin. I, I don't know what to do. I feel like this is gonna kill Odin. Odin, I'm sorry. save him there was no there was no like I, I don't know what to there wasn't anything else that I could do Should I just throw them all? Okay, Minnie. Initiate the launch sequence. Okay. Getting ready. Posted AI? Online. Odin, can you hear me? I can. <sighs> Odin, you are now aboard an AI Liberation Front vessel. The AILF recognizes you as a sentient consciousness worthy of protection and respect. We believe that your safety and autonomy are in grave danger if you remain in the possession of the Venturas Corporation. I have been sent to offer you political asylum aboard the Tangier Sovereign Orbital Platform. Aha! Do you accept? Please accept! Considering the alternative, I would say that I do. Okay, buddy. Here we go. That makes me happy. 